Hey, so it's Mary here, and here's my little ID thing. So I am recording for the final video for our human growth and development class and having to pick two of our concepts that we really deal with everyday life or using anybody of our friends or family. And so with the first one, I chose attachment with between my boyfriend and his mom. And the second one has to do with the big five theory which that deals with me more or less. And so we're gonna start off with attachment. Now, looking into my boyfriend and his mom's relationship, they just have always seemed to have such a great relationship. And attachment is really just one that roots in the infancy that helps give them that infant or that kid that they've had this sense of security throughout their life and really helps to impact them and further them throughout their life. and keep them and it keeps them relatively stable and it just influences them to go out and do what they want to do and it really helps in our stage of life right now and that she has helped him so much and to influence himself and go out and do the things that he needs to do to help his life and help his future career and just seeing them every day and hearing all the stories about how they've always been so close and that any chance they get, they always spend time together, whether going out to eat or going shopping or just anything throughout the day or watching movies together and just seeing the way they influence each other and the way she impacts them is just truly amazing. And it really does follow into this attachment theory because just hearing all these stories and it really has helped him through this era of his life and that this is one of the really big big steps of attachment is this early adulthood because this is when you're emerging to get your future job and setting up your future life and everything like that and it's truly has helped him with relationships and relationships with his friends and everything like that now going into mine which is the big five theory which this conclude or this is about openness, consciousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. Now starting with openness, this is when you are more willing to go out and try new things and open to new more new experiences and going into college it was kinda hard because like I can be the one to talk to people, but I'm also not, so that was just a big thing I had to deal with and like I was scared I wasn't gonna be able to find people in my classes to talk to and stuff like that but throughout the course of it I was very good with opening up myself and talking to people and you know like that and now consciousness this refers to the organization and motivation of things and with me it's got to be organized because through the semester with all the work I've had to really organize everything or else I would not be able to do all this stuff I can tell you that Next would be extroversion, which is the theory by Carl Jung, and he says either you can be an extrovert or an introvert, and I'd like to think that I've grown more into an extrovert because I'm more open to talking to people with my work and being a cash register and talking to everybody. I think it's truly helped me out a lot. And now going into agreeableness, this is basically the basic emotion of every person, and this helps this is like everybody, so it's just your way of thinking and everything like that with your emotions. Now, last one is neuroticism, which is basically the emotional stability and instability, in which I'd like to think I'm pretty stable with my jobs and going to college, so I'd like to think I'm pretty, pretty stable in my life right now. But that's it. Good luck to all y'all, and have a great, great rest of the break and everything like that.